Hola mi gente, it's Tia Juana. Today's our second uh, time we're going to be talking about art and how wonderful art is to inspire you, to make you creative, to give your life meaning. Pretend you're in a gallery because we're going to go through my house and look at paintings and pictures I've collected uh, for almost a century. The first one is Angie and Angie is a young Latina and was painted by Steve Lucero and I bought it on layaway for $150 because Steve believed everyone should be able to afford art. Beautiful piece that I've carried with me that inspires me about the work I've done with young Latinas. And the second one I like to call Chicana power or Chicana activism. Again, another Latina given to me by my friend Richard Martinez from San Antonio that shows the power, el poder de la mujer. And then we have Redbird speaking. And this I bought when I bought my home over 40 years ago and it's been hanging on the mantle. And it's Redbird teaching the shaman. And on the back says that when we believed we could not learn from the animals, they stopped talking to us. Then we have the corn god, and this is an heirloom for me. It was bought from by my sister, Margarita, in Guatemala over 50 years ago. And what's so interesting about this piece of art is that you very rarely see a corn god. It's usually a female. But look, we are the people of the corn, and there it is growing, and so it reminds me of my indigenous fruit. Then there's Diego Rivera, a gift from one of my students. It's a print, but it's called Conciencia, and it's about knowledge, awareness, being woke, and again, to be inspired by knowledge, the children reading books. Then we have something from my native Nicaragua that I bought in an art school and it's called Un Peso and it was a beggar that was outside asking for for pesos from people to remind me of my roots and where I came from to remind me to always share and to help those that are less fortunate than I am. We have change maker and that was also given to me by a high school student that was one of my students when she was asked to uh, do a project on leadership and it has words like leader and activist and historian and I treasure that because it comes from one of our own young people. Then then we have the elder wisdom also given to me uh, as I became an elder to have the owl speaking to the old lady and sharing with me its, its wisdom. I have El Poder de la Mujer and that is a painting by my beautiful Paloma, my youngest daughter, who is an art professor at the University of Ithaca. It was a series she did on women and power, and that's her as a young girl in the yard with, I like to call that a spear, uh, that she's holding to show how powerful she is. 